about the floods not so exciting from Elsa, which have come and gone and videos of that flooding going viral online, including this TikTok video making its rounds on social media after a Brooklyn native went viral for her commentary on how New Yorkers handled the flooding. News 12 Janae Caldwell with this story. It's bad out here, folks. People out here with the Missy Elliott garbage bags trying to make it to the train. You might have seen the videos on social media of New Yorkers walking through waist deep water to catch a train and even rainwater pouring down subway stairs just days ago. New York City is in full flood alert. TikToker Catherine G. Mendoza from Williamsburg gave her take on what she calls the New York determination. This that New York City determination. She was not about to miss that train. I would never do that. Let me tell you why. I understand that some people live really far, so they got to do what they got to do, but I'm not about to drown in a New York City subway in dirty garbage water. That video going viral, garnering 7 million views on TikTok. I kept seeing those videos posted, you know, by other New York platforms or people. And my, again, find the joke in everything. Brain was like, this is a really horrible situation, but at the same time, I can't help but critique it. Mendoza says she made her TikTok account last year when the pandemic hit and has gained more than 180,000 followers. And while much of her content is about New York City, she also makes dozens of other funny videos using her many characters like Mother Royal, who dishes the latest in celebrity gossip. A-Rod bought a house in the Hamptons next to Jennifer's and has been seen with Ben Affleck's ex-girlfriend Lizzie Shookus. When she's not making TikToks, Mendoza is juggling many other hats as a writer, producer, and and host of her Mess in Progress podcast. I want to be remembered as somebody who tried to help. As her TikTok continues blowing up, she says she's hoping it can pave the way for her future career. I definitely want to eventually show run my own program and um, yeah, kind of just tell stories from my experiences to the same extent that I'm doing on TikTok. And I hope TikTok kind of can take me there. Johnny Caldwell, News 12.